Hey everyone, uh, I've been doing some business penmanship this morning and I had a somewhat salient thought that I wanted to share because I keep having these little breakthroughs and I write them down sometimes or I type them up and send them to friends, but I think this one might actually be useful to some of you that are practicing business penmanship and movement writing. Um, for those of you that don't, uh, I'll kind of explain a little bit of the background. So this morning I've been working on my business penmanship and I've been using kind of some of the common books and looking at a little bit of form stuff and a little bit of movement stuff. And typically when you're approaching business penmanship and with a lot of different styles of penmanship, you have form and movement as these kind of two um, uh, interacting but opposite sides of the spectrum of skill that you have to develop to be able to do that type of writing. And for a long time, I've been coming at business penmanship or cursive writing uh, with a movement first standpoint. So I didn't really care, and I, I don't, I would say, I don't really care what the forms look like. I care about how they feel to create, how fast they are, and to some degree I care about the quality of the lines. One of the big benefits of moving the pen quickly around on the page is that you overcome some of the natural tremors in the hand and the lines actually end up smoothing themselves out and becoming a little bit more graceful and one of the words that the old penman would use is more dashy. Um, but that's all well and good. Eventually you have to start looking at forms and going, well, my letters don't look like what they're supposed to look like uh, in accordance with the models or what I'd like them to look like in accordance with my own taste. And so, you know, you can build up movement, you can cultivate strong movement, that is movement that feels confident, it comes from using larger muscles, uh, no mental hesitation when you decide to start moving your hand into a letter form. Um, but eventually you have to rein that in and you have to say, okay, we're going to slow down a little bit or we're going to lessen the impulse that goes from my brain and my muscles and not move so quickly into this thing. Well, <clears throat> people that come from a form first standpoint typically have lower line quality because they don't spend time building that movement, uh, but they have better proportions. So although their lines through their letters may wobble and like have little imperfections to the lines, the letters on the whole look more like the models. So you've got these two sides, you've got like really nice line quality and your forms are kind of all over the place or really nice forms and your lines are kind of all over the place. The responsibility of every penman is to try to take those two things and develop them and bring them together so that you have really nice writing that is smooth and easy and legible. Um, all right, so I had this really clear thought today and it was as I was writing, I was doing some movement exercises and then I went through and I did a whole sheet of uh, minuscules. Those are the lowercase letter forms in the Latin alphabet, so A through Z, uh, and I did one line of each letter on a single page. So A, 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 all the way across, B, 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 all the way across, C, C, C. And my goal was that in the whole sheet, I would pick my favorite uh, letter form from every line. And I would see if throughout the alphabet, if I had like 15 attempts at each letter form, if I could get one of every, that I, every letter form that I liked from a form and movement basis. But, as I'm going into that exercise, I'm realizing that I've already warmed up my movement. I've already got my body awake, you know, my muscles are um, feeling loose and relaxed. I'm kind of focused on uh, what I'm doing. And then I'm taking like a movement warm up and I'm trying to put it into an exercise that is both movement and form. And for whatever reason, I was feeling this weird like weightlessness in my arm where I was realizing that I was hesitating to connect to the page. And uh, it was it was a kind of an interesting moment. I, the, the word that came to, or the, the, way, the phrase that came to mind that kind of stood out to me was, right now, I feel warmed up, I can move. I know the letter forms that I'm trying to make. And yet, as I move to make them, I'm either hesitating, pulling back on my movement, or hesitating on the form um, because I'm asking questions about, you know, what does it look like? I'm like not familiar enough with the form in this moment. And um, I could feel that as a weightlessness in my arm. And that this is, this is kind of the point of this video is this weightlessness 
it comes from, for me, this thought that if I put my weight into my arm and I actually lean into the movement, that the amount of power that is in that from my movement practice is going to overcome my objective of you know reigning and and putting out uh, forms that are congruent with the exemplar, and so instead of thinking about slowing down or smoothing out, all I did was look at that sensation of weightlessness in my arm. I let my arm down to the desk, so I actually let it sit on the desk. So I'm up here, kind of holding it up almost, and I put it down. And then instead of thinking about uh, the speed or the power that I had within me and like uh, instead of thinking about like muting that or pulling it back, what I did was I just committed to not pushing it ahead. So I started moving the pen, you know, a couple little lines here and there, and I let it move as fast as it wanted to naturally, but no faster. Like I wasn't putting more energy into the system. I was just kind of letting it be. Okay. So now imagine now that you're moving your arm. I know this is super esoteric, but maybe some of you guys are going to get something out of this. Um, you're moving your arm. It's moving at its natural speed. I'm no longer pushing it to go faster or pulling it back to go slower. I'm just thinking about the sensation and the sound of every form. So like the minuscule A is So one and two and three. So I'm thinking about that kind of phonic cue. And the word that came to mind was gentleness. I think that a lot of times my riding is forced. So it's either forced from I'm trying to go faster, I'm trying to go slower, I'm trying to exert some amount of control over that which should be automatic. I've been reading a bunch of the Charles Zaner essays that are on the University of Scranton's um, archival pages. And in one of those, he talks about how when he designed Zaner method handwriting, he actually picked the letter forms that he picked because he wanted them to be as similar to each other as possible so that students didn't have to learn more letter forms so that fewer things could be learned in total and that everything could be made more automatic. And so that phrase made automatic is really in my, in my mind. When something is automatic, it's not sped up and it's not slowed down. It just is. And once you can get out of your way, as far as the speed or the direction that you're trying to take the pen, you know, you're trying to literally force the pen to make a certain letter. Once the speed that you are moving is just the speed you move, and once the direction that you're moving is just the direction that you move at that speed naturally, the letter forms, man, they almost happen by themselves. Uh, I'll clip down and show you guys a little bit of what this is. I, hopefully I can get this on camera, but I am having a little bit of a breakthrough today and it's, uh, it's really fascinating. So the word of the day, the watch word of the day is uh, gentleness, gentleness in your writing. And if you can try to find that sensation of knowing that you're on the brink of either pushing or pulling back on speed and not letting your brain dictate that a curve should look a certain way or not look a certain way, but just that your hand knows where to go, then that would mean that you've trained both the form and the movement enough that they should be able to interlock and maybe your writing can improve. All right, I'll show you guys uh, what I'm talking about and hope you have a good day.